Meet George Willig, a.k.a. the Human Fly. He was a rock climber and toy designer who scaled the South Tower of the World Trade Center in New York City one fine sunny day on May 26, 1977. He accomplished his feat using devices he designed to hook into the window washer's track in the side of what was then the third tallest building in the world. His three-and-a-half-hour trek to the top of the tower created quite a stir, both with a huge crowd gathering on the ground watching his ascent, as well as news reports spanning the globe. Perhaps it was due to the notoriety of George Willig's climb of one of the most recognizable buildings in the world that the Nichibutsu video game division of Nihon Busan Company of Japan made the arcade game Crazy Climber in 1980. To me, a game like Crazy Climber really represents what was great about the golden age of arcade games. Sure, there would be trends in the industry, like when after Space Invaders hit in 1978, most games were suddenly all Space Invaders knockoffs, and all the cute maze games in the wake of Pac-Man, but there was still enough oxygen for wildly creative games like Crazy Climber. By the time we climbed into the 90s, it seemed like every game in the arcade was either a driving game, or a light gun shooting game, or yet another one-on-one -on -one Street Fighter clone. Crazy Climber was adapted for home game and computer systems, including Atari's old War Horse 2600. Now, if the idea of playing a graphically complex game like Crazy Climber on Atari's limited 2600 console is enough to make you want to jump off the top of a high building, never fear. Crazy Climber on the 2600 is actually pretty great. It might lack the visual detail of the original, but it crams an amazing amount of the coin-op game into an 8K cartridge. Sure, you're only using one joystick to control the character instead of the arcade games too, but Atari's Crazy Climber still manages to capture that same feeling of control from the coin-op. Smooth and responsive when you're in the zone and everything is going right, and frustrating when the little guy just doesn't seem to be doing what you want. Oh, no! But still, frustrating in a good way. So, while this voice chant from the original arcade game was left out of the 2600 version, I'll still tell you to go for it! Go for it!
Thank you.